Selamat datang kembali. Welcome back again. Now we are going to discuss about this particular integral problem. Integral from 0 to 4 of ln x divided by square root of 4x minus x squared dx. Okay? Alright. Um, now we are trying to find some symmetry about this integral. So let's try this substitution u equals 4 minus x. Then we have the u is equal to minus the x. When u when x equals zero, u is plug in x equals zero there, we have u is four. And when x equals four, u is zero. Therefore, this integral is nothing but integral from 4 to 0 ln of x. But x is 4 minus u. And then this 4x minus x squared equals x times 4 minus x. Okay? Notice that x is 4 minus u. So it is 4 minus u. And then 4 minus x turns into u. Okay? So on the bottom we have 4u minus u squared. And then du is minus dx. So dx is negative of du minus du. And we can get rid of that negative sign by switching back the limit of integration. From 0 to 4 du. Okay. Notice that this u variable is just a dummy variable well, where we can replace the variable with any letter that we like. Especially we can replace it with x. Right? So we can write down this as that. Or if you are a little bit confused because our x is supposed to be the relation between u and x is supposed to be u equals 4 minus x. So if you are a little bit confused about that, what we can do is that just replacing the x variable here into z variable and then replacing the u variable over here with z also a variable. Okay? <coughs> then we have everything in terms of a new variable, the z variable. Something similar to this one. Okay. So the that will work if you are a little bit confused why we can replace the u by x. Alright? Now, let's call this integral as i. So if we add up this integral with that integral, which is 2i, then we have integral from 0 to 4. We add these two integral functions. Both of them have the same denominators, so we just need to add up the numerators. But by the property of the natural log, when we add up ln x plus ln 4 minus x, we have ln 4x minus x squared. We multiply x and 4 minus x, divided by square root of 4x minus x squared. Okay. <coughs> now notice that by completing the square, this 4x minus x squared can be written as 4 minus x minus 2 squared. Same thing here as well. 4 minus x minus 2 squared. Okay? You can verify it. That's easy to verify. Now, let's uh, make a new substitution where we declare this x minus 2 to be a new variable. So, let s be x minus 2, then we have ds equal dx. When x equal to 0, s equals to negative 2. When x equals 4, s equals 2. So then we have twice of i equals integral from negative 2 to 2. Natural log of 4 minus s squared divided by square root of 
4 minus s squared. And we have the x equals this. Okay? As we can see that if we replace s by negative s, this function is remain the same. That tells us that this function is an even function. Okay? Since this is even, then this is equal to twice of integral from 0 to 2, natural log of 4 minus s squared, divided by square root of 4 minus s squared s. Yes. Right? Okay? Now another substitution. Let's say t equals 4 minus s squared. dt is minus 2s ds. Okay? From here we have s equals to s squared is 4 minus t. So s is square root of 4 minus t. So this is negative twice of square root of 4 minus t ds. Okay? And then when s is 0, t is 4, plug in s equals 0 there. And then when s is 2, t is 0. Okay? So therefore, this integral equals twice of 0 to so. So let's see. When s is 0, t is 4. So 4 to 0. Ln 4 minus s squared turns into t. And on the bottom we have also square root of t. And then ds, ds is dt divided by negative 2 times square root of 4 minus 2. Okay. We don't like this negative sign, so let's get rid of that negative sign by switching back the limit of integration from 0 to 4. Okay. And we have that 2 and this is also another 2 that cancels out. So we have 0 to 4 natural log of t over square root of t times 4 minus t. 4t minus t squared. Can you recognize what is this? Do you remember what is this integral? What this integral is? This one, as you can see, is exactly i. Right? So it's magically we have this whole thing equals to i. But this i is equal to twice of i. So what can we conclude? If twice of i equals i, we can subtract both sides. So twice of i equals i. Then we have i equals to zero. Okay. Therefore, we conclude that this integral, the original integral, therefore, hence, integral from zero to four, natural log x divided by square root of four x minus x squared dx is exactly equal to zero. Alright? Okay, so that's all for now. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so at the moment. So thank you very much for your attention. See you again on the next video. Bye-bye.